Hello everyone, my name is Rajesh Kumar and I'm your DevOps SRE DevSecOps coach. So now I'm going to talk about Prometheus. Okay, so let's understand the before installing and using the Prometheus. Let's understand what is Prometheus. Okay, so guys, uh, Prometheus is a time series database. Yes, so Prometheus definitely is a monitoring solution but uh, actually if you look at the architecture of prometheus uh, it is a time series database yes it is open source 100 percent it is uh, from the cncf community itself cncf is the same uh, organization who is driving the kubernetes uh, etc and many other products so i would uh, suggest you to look at the website cncf and their product lines so then you will feel good about it so because cncf is the most of the products are very popular and uh, we are using in the you know for the art devops and sre operations so yes it's a cnc a product graduated project okay so now how it has been developed so prometheus has been developed in golang yes so the moment if i say go then you should not ask me uh, rajesh can i run in linux or windows or mac because you know that go is a platform independent that means any software which has been developed in uh, in go can be run in the any platform as such so that is possible yeah so now uh, some of the things which you should understand yes it's a cloud uh, cncf graduated project and this is optimized for time series data it has a built-in service discovery and uh, uh, Prometheus, we have a query language as well. Remember that database means that query language you will have it, right? For example, SQL. So you have a MySQL query language. Uh, I mean, MySQL. Then you have a SQL query language like that. So here also we have a flexible query language that we call it a PromQL. PromQL means Prometheus query language. It has a numerous integrations available uh, for, for that. That's not a problem and uh, works in the pool model remember that uh, here there is a two model in the monitoring world actually push model and pool model so where do we install the agent agent push to the server that is called push model here it's not a like that it's not a push model it's a pool model so prometheus server will pull the matrices from the different different sources so that is pool model okay that is something which we have now uh, from the which end point it's it is pulling so it is pulling from the the http endpoints how do we how it works and all i'll i'll, I'll talk about it uh, you know uh, in some demo time so just remember that if someone will ask you uh, prometheus is a pull or model or post model is a Pull model okay now this started at soundcloud yeah this is the product which got started in at the soundcloud there was one company and they contributed this project to the promise uh, cncf uh, in early 2015 so apart from that this become a cncf product okay so some of the features which we have is like uh, the models is multi-dimensional. That's with the time stitch data identified by metric name and key value pair. If you want to query, you have to use a PromQL. Okay. And uh, flexible query language to leverage his this dimensionality. Again, push pull based. And so there is a few options are available for pushing. That's a gateway. I'll, I'll talk about a little bit later and so on. Now, who's, which company is using uh, all this? So, these are the companies, mainly our contributor and using the Prometheus. White box versus black box. Uh, so, as I said, in the monitoring world, there's a pull versus push. White box versus block, black box. So, Prometheus is a white box. Push, pull versus pull. So, it's a pull based. Real time versus historic. It's a historic data. You get it and so on. Which one is right? Pull or push? White box or black box? This is again, uh, lots of discussion can happen. Both are good. 
and so on so ultimately uh, prometheus is a pool based white box and historical data it gather okay so now what is the architecture so in prometheus we have a server okay um, there's one component which you call it server and then second thing we have exporter okay exporter uh, then third thing we have a client libraries fourth thing we have a push gateway and fifth thing we have alert manager okay so five components primarily there are few more components we have we need to discuss about it so i want to have some good image actually and i think this is a good image okay let me explain you this in little detail okay so if you see that very carefully this part which is prometheus server i'll install it while demoing it so just give me some time as part of it uh, you have a some storage node storage and it uh, remove that you cannot uh, create a clusters of node uh, prometheus run specific to the nodes actually okay and then scrapping what is scrapping basically pool based i said right so this scrapping is nothing but some configuration from there different different endpoints is uh, prometheus is pulling so this is a prometheus server now from where it can pull so let's say you have a linux mesh server windows server and there is one linux server here there is a windows server here and there is a one more linux server here but i want to pull apache matrix so here i want to pull a, a linux matrix here windows matrix here apache matrix so what we do in this case so what is what is happened what is design here there is a one concept called exporter you can say like an agent, but we don't call it a agent. This is exporter. So what we do, uh, typically, we install the exporter in this machine. And there's one more exporter for this machine. And there's one more exporter for this machine. Now, let me tell you here, this exporter is not a different, not a same utility. Okay. If you want to gather the Linux matrix, there's a different exporter. If you want to gather the Windows matrix, there's a different operator. If you want to gather the Apache matrix, there is a different operator. That means there's a hundreds of operators from the hundreds of endpoints we have it. Now you'll say, okay, Rajesh, I want to know the list of operators. So, oh, exporters, sorry. So just you go to this page, type Prometheus exporters. And in this page, you have all the exporters. You see, database, hardware, Issue management, messaging, storage, HTTP, API, logging, FinOps, and so many. Many of these are official also. So let's say if I go for node, node exporter, this is for Linux, okay? And if I go for Windows, this is for Windows exporter. If I go for Apache, this is a Apache exporter. So hundreds of utilities are there. This is, we call it exporter, which has been developed by the community. And what do you need to do? What data you want to gather? Those exporter you need to install and configure. Are you are you understanding me, all of you? Yes, Rajesh. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. So now, you, yes. so now you know what these exporters will do nothing. Don't assume it's a client, it's an agent. It will not push any data. What will happen? These exporter are executable. It will expose the data at certain HTTP endpoint here. If you remember that I said HTTP pool based here. This also will collect the data. This exporter collect the data from Apache. This from the Windows. This from the Linux. And publish at certain port number here. Okay. So that is where you have to specify. Hey Prometheus, go and scrap from the pull from basically scrap means pull from these endpoints http endpoint that's all okay so that is the reason we call it a pull based mechanism why because server is pulling from the different endpoint different port number and the data which is a format is time series the 
the protocol is http are you clear now Yeah. Yeah. Am I audible? Yes. Yes. Okay. I have questions. So let me know when I can ask. Yeah. yeah. Please go ahead. Okay. So this pull based method. One thing is that you know the load on the server will be very high. For example, if there are one thousand nodes. Uh, from where the data needs to be pulled so which means the server should have the higher uh, resource uh, intense uh, you know configuration so is there any calculation available for example if we have 1000 2000 or 3000 servers how to calculate the configuration of the server in terms of cpu configuration storage etc including the internet bandwidth yeah so uh, this uh, uh, basically it's not about the number of request see there is a uh, discussions can happen on this uh, one criteria is number of request number of pull okay number of pull but the next one more criteria how frequently you pull by default is a 15 seconds okay but you can set how frequently you pull Thread criteria when you pull how much data you get how much data uh, number this is a how frequently number and then data data how can you specify the storage so this all criteria define that what is your capacity for the prometheus so it cannot be uh, fixed just like that we need to have a, some sort of you know in each environment is different actually so we need to have a sort of uh, that uh, configurations let's say i'll put it in this way you configure 200 uh, pull uh, scrapping uh, endpoint and then you monitor for one week how is the performance cpu utilization the memory utilizations disk utilizations accordingly uh, you decide okay i need to have this capacity or that capacity so that typically you know depends on the project we do the capacity planning based on certain testing and then we decide actually so yeah, just to answer your question, there's no as such uh, uh, metrics available because these three important data is a factor for it and it cannot be decided. Uh, okay, but in other tools, these kind of info, well, if I talk about uh, you know, data or science, there we have collectors, so, right? So similarly, yeah. uh, there should i'm sure there must be some standards right for example if we are talking about linux server if linux is serving some database right so this hmm. much of kbs of data will be pulled as a rough estimation so that when we you know propose a solution to the client we have something in mind because these things are definitely being asked by the client and uh, yeah. we so, need to answer as an architect yeah yeah so at a high level those data are there but again uh, it'll be that's what i say no you put any numbers and then uh, they will ask you what is the what is the base of this data and i just said like there's no base actually for example i'll tell you uh, line x you want 20 metrics and 200 metrics i'm just giving you an example you can enable the this exporter to cover the only 20 metrics that's a default but also you can enable more metrics also same goes with Apache also and MySQL also. And as I said, hundreds of exporters, you can customize that. Actually. So there's no as such fixed, uh, you don't have a fixed requirement. So we cannot uh, tell tell uh, what is a fixed infrastructure for it. Getting more points. So the moment you have a fixed requirement, then we will see that uh, we'll start with it. And then we we'll see that how the capacity is, I mean, is behaving. Accordingly, we'll estimate. So this is a, if you if you understand if you put it in this way, uh, uh, it's like a part of the capacity plan. Let me tell you here, you should not correlate with App Dynamics, Dynatrace, Datadog, New Relic, and all stuff like that. Why? Because bo all those are cloud-based applications. So server is auto scale based on the growth actually, storage, compute, and all stuff like that. So we don't have a control over there. We have a control on the agent installations only. So those are different ones. Now, uh, one more thing, one more thing. Uh, let's say some some places where you host the server also an agent. So that is not a pull based. That's a push based. So that way it's agent. Uh, let's say uh, uh, used to all the Splunk. As Splunk, we have a cloud version also and uh, host. I mean, the 
you can host also you can install your server also so the now we know that how much of data it has to push and accordingly the ram and cpu will be required so that way agent i mean company is doing that analysis and uh, they will tell you okay this this much of data this many processing happens so you need uh, this much of compute and this much of ram so they do the capacity planning but this is open source and our infrastructure i mean this infrastructure is not definite so no one is doing except you are you understanding me i think so yeah so i was talking about a server that is a one component which is called prometheus server and then i was discussing about the exporter now third component which you, you find is a client library though you don't need to go into the detail but you need to know what is a client library so let me understand in this way there is one server okay and there is one server and there is one application which is called installed up uh, java let's say okay java now java is running your applications also this is the, your code hundred and millions of code you have right in this file now you have a hundreds of classes hundreds of method all these thing you have it here right now the problem which we have you can set up a java exporter which will publish this matrix here and the server will scrap from there that is not a problem that is not a problem but 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 the code i want certain matrices from there also i mean to say code your product your the the product which your team have developed for example amazon.com i want to know the number of orders number of failed transactions number of successful transactions uh, order summary and anything you cannot get it from any other tools because the code internal right only it's specific to the code so how do we get that data and that is where the client library is coming actually so prometheus has given a pro client libraries java ruby python go and many different languages whichever the language you have used to develop your software these client libraries there developers i repeat developers those who write a programs for the software they will use this client library inside a program inside a code and then get you and export the custom metrics at certain endpoint so prometheus can pull from there and that is where the client library is been used let me show you some of the client libraries see here these are the client libraries we have available right now are you understanding my point mm -hmm. yeah so this is something which you have to understand let's say someone will say hey we want to store order summary we want to store number of failed transaction where is that data it's in code what to do now there is no exporter what to do use the client library who will do that though those date those people who is writing a code for your product that means developer okay so client library is the answer now if you see that uh, there is one alert manager also uh, one component two component third component so this alert manager also separate component we have supported by prometheus itself we call it a prometheus alert, alert manager so that you can also use and which you can integrate with the different external tools like pj duty op genie and all kind of things now we have a basic dashboard but we don't use it and that is where i will uh, here grafana i'll use grafana here so dashboard solution grafana that's the region i said if you remember that in a session first i'll cover the prometheus and from graphics i'll use the grafana so this has to be done in conjunction to make it uh, more out of it are you are you understanding all of you mm -hmm. i think so yeah okay so this is the architecture this is the official documents actually they are this is published uh, by the prometheus community itself if you look at the same image but little bit detailing prometheus server you have a storage prometheus engine is running and retrieval you can say scrapping points 
pulling matrices from the exporter you see and push gateway is again uh, if some of the endpoints are inside the firewall then you can use a push gateway i'm not discussing too too many because anyways i'll not be able to cover that now and uh, uh, Prometheus Server is service discovery. That means you can get the IP address endpoints automatically. So Kubernetes integration is very well uh, defined because you, I told you right. Uh, Prometheus is from the CNC of um, uh, Kubernetes also from CNC of. So both are having well integrations actually, and that is the reason you know what. Oh, whenever you set up a Prometheus uh, Kubernetes, we monitor infrastructure. Means Kubernetes monitoring we do through the Prometheus. Now Alert Manager is another one uh, product which I talked about it and uh, though we have a basic ui here grafana we use it most of the time though you can use kibana also by the way you can use datadog also i mean many backends are there but grafana is open source Prometheus is open source this is a good combinations so we use it that way okay so i think uh, metrics so uh, yeah you understand that client library i told you uh, in a simple way so you understand this uh, exporter i told you uh, you understand that if again if you need uh, more clarification, you need to ask me so I can repeat the stuff. Collector is a part of the exporter itself. Endpoint is a part of the HTTP endpoint. Uh, this instance and job I'm not explaining right now because you want to understand. I need to show you. So re remember that. This is the format uh, in which the Prometheus exposes the important, I mean, pulling the data. Uh, certain intervals, okay? It's not storing everything but a certain interval that means every 15 seconds that's a big default value right but it can be increased or decreased also depends on your uh, that's what someone said no what should be the cpu and ram limitation for that so it depends on your number of scraps actually you do the scraps in a 20 second you need a less cpu less ram you do the sec a scrap in every five seconds then definitely you need a high cpu and higher ram and high storage so it depends all these things depends uh data models yeah i'll just show you rather than talking here because that way you will make a sense of it uh this is one of the example for the matrices and the value now in a prometheus you will find four types of data okay four types of data you see here right side value is there no 309 and 225 something like that so like that you will find four types of data which you can store in the i mean four types of value you can store actually what is this counter counter means it will always increase for example uh, number of traffic it will never go down it will always increase gauge it can go up and down both that means cpu it can go up it can go down histogram it has a, a histogram and summary both are something similar uh, which is uh, you know uh, done into just again let me show you that here a uh, group of sample that means uh, you take the data for the certain durations and then you analyze that one so group of samples uh, and so on okay so this is something which we have and so on i'm skipping many other stuff discussion because i'll show you some of the things uh, anyways yeah so i think we are good with that so guys any questions so far all of you not for now no. okay so what i am going to what i am going to do uh, i am going to show you i am going to show you uh, uh, setting up prometheus server okay that is the one now step number two i'm going to show you uh, collecting collecting uh, line x matrix right and then you will understand the moment i show you, you know linux matrix rest of the things you'll understand but i want to show you one more integration that way you have a confidence uh, while doing it uh, collecting the apache matrix because one is operating system and one is a tool right now uh, exploring step number four exploring uh, uh, prom ui from basic ui okay classic ui i'm not going to show you right now grafana because that's required a little bit more time and discussions okay 
so these are the things so once you are done with it then i am going to talk about rules now question is what is rules we need to discuss actually okay rules there are two kind of rules alert rule and uh, record rule right now so now the question is when i'm talking the alert alert rule then i'm going to talk about the uh, alert manager also right alert manager and this is the stuff i am going to show you and then followed by uh, what else so see prompt server is done color exporter is done ui basically is done rules is done alert manager is done now next one which is very important for all of you that's where you spend most of the time and that is called prompt ql because you do all this thing why because you can query right so this is something which i'm going to show you uh today uh what do you think all of you any questions any doubts okay so i have this servers which is of the kubernet uh, you know what my this kubernet got corrupted i mean this uh, this linux machine got corrupted so i need to uh, destroy and then create a new one so never mind that's the reason i did not i try to fix uh, but it didn't work so i am going to have a new server soon but for from prometheus it's not going to impact us because what was failing the networking issues was there in this machine actually that is what it happens when you install the multiple networking drivers it gets trashed actually never mind so how do we install how do you install prometheus okay so guys uh, don't uh, don't uh, complicate your mind these all are executables that's all simple executables so you know what you should do just go ahead download prometheus that's all nothing great about it and running configuring also these are not it's not a great things actually so here if you see this is the download this is the executables as per the platform right and if you see that this is the alert manager and there are a lot of exporters are there which is a popular okay official one but i showed you this one page right please remember that this page this page you have a lot of exporter mind it sometime you don't find the listing here also of your special tool no problem you can go and search on the github because many exporter has been developed but is not been published here same time if you feel like okay no i don't have the my exporter what to do nothing great about guys you can write your own exporter also using golang so it's a very easy to write a uh, exporter and uh, the code is uh, sample code is also you can find in the github okay so now uh, this is the stash day exporter and few more good to go now so this is the stuff now you may um, you may ask me uh, we have any step by step documents somewhere so i think you have to you know that more or less where to find out let me show you the locations and uh, uh, install right install the box cool guys this one will help no no not this one this one will help you okay uh, this one okay uh, here all this thing you have it uh, i don't need to do now but uh, when you are doing it please do it because most of these things i i know that so i'm skipping many thing but you should be very careful okay now also you should not run the commands blindly for example uh, 2.2 2.28 right i don't know what is the latest version see here uh, 2.253 why because every week we have a release yes every week we have a release so that is how it is so these are the commands to install download and install nothing great about it so opt let me download enter and untar it and here it is this is the directory okay you can rename it to the prometheus but right now i'm lazy so i'm not doing it okay so here now these are the directories um, files you have it 
now you must remember this file is the one which I was looking for it okay Prometheus that's executable that's a one executable which we needed that's all now if you want to change the behavior of this executable something you want to add it scrap point and many other stuff here it is this is the most important file now what is this prompt tool so many people do the modification of prometheus.yaml and then make a issues here actually they do the wrong modification so you can validate whether it's good code or not you can using prompt prompt tool anyways so this is the file this is the command you can check to the run the versions and all stuff like that now by the way you can start directly like this you can start like this but the problem is i don't want to do that why because i lose the console and which i don't like to do that so con control say i have a one command which i will i don't think so it's a something which you don't know you know that these are the linux command to run the any executable in the in the in the in the background right so i'm running this one here run done so now if i want to see that um grab prom prom see prometheus is running wonderful so now prometheus is running that's all nothing great about it now guys uh where is the basic ui for accessing the prometheus so the uh, the the port number is 1990 okay so you have to remember that so can i go and check that so 1990 uh here 1990 enter this is the one which you have prometheus okay now this is the place where you search for it and these are the tabular information you get it graphs also you get it and so on some alert this is a basic UI. i don't get uh, irritated because i'm going to show you the graph now which you love it actually okay so here are all the alerts you have but nothing is configured graph which are showing status you have all this information you must spend some time here classic ui means old ui little bit different help and so on that's all now how do i know which are the metrics so right now i'm not monitoring anything so you might not find any metrics because i have not installed any exporter sort of thing right but you know what guys monit uh, prometheus is monitoring self how i'll talk about in a little bit time but monit prometheus is monitoring self now the how, how do you know that so let me show you go to the status go to the targets so prometheus is monitoring anything anything and everything you will find in the targets click on it and you see here all the endpoints which you have here it is told you right prometheus is monitoring self and up and if you remember this i said i'll talk about it so these are the two uh, key and value get added by default for the every matrix instance name from where it is coming and the job name job is coming from the aml file i'll show you that one now this is you can click here and localhost you can change that to and these are the matrices these are the sorry my bad these are the matrices right now prometheus is gathering Self. it's a default configurations so now the question is these are the matrices and their values is coming and collecting by matrix i mean prometheus can i go and check this let me check this this is the one matrix and go to the graph click on it execute see these are the matrix and here you have a labels and values okay so that's the something which i did it now so now the question is how do we set up a prompt server are you okay all of you any questions how, how we can change the default value from 15 seconds to 5 seconds uh, okay so 
for you know that there is only one file which you need to remember every for everything only one file and if you can tell me i'll feel great actually which file yaml file wonderful yes for, remember that hard code your mind for everything you have to look at the yaml file that means for each everything and anything yaml file and prometheus.yaml file is a main file you can create a more yaml file to manage it effectively but everything is yaml file okay i'll, I'll cover that one i'm i'm coming back slowly okay so any other questions guys so far on this part first step number one have any issues with our channel membership you can drop an email to us at contact at devopschool.com or you can also unsubscribe from channel membership anytime if you don't want to continue or did not like the video please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries we will reply to them at the earliest thanks for watching